As the old phrase says, never judge a book by its cover. Well, we're going to rephrase that to be never judge an animal by its uh, cover. Okay, I'm gonna work on that one a little bit. But anyway, today we're going to be delving into animals that are very much friendlier than they may look. From the ocean's deadliest predator to the largest bird in the world, let's meet 15 horrifying animals that are actually friendly. <sighs> Number 15. Sharks. It's fair to say that sharks don't exactly have the best reputation, thanks to movies like Jaws and news stories highlighting their habit of, uh, you know, eating people. These intelligent animals have now become synonymous with man-eating villains. But guess what? They're actually kind of sweet. According to Jim Abernethy, a shark conservationist, sharks aren't the cold-blooded killers humans have come to assume. According to Jim, they're no different to dogs. They just happen to live in the ocean. You might be thinking, this guy is quite out of his mind, but he does know what he's talking about. Jim has saved a lot of sharks in his time, removing hooks and other obtrusions from their bodies and bonding with them on a level that most of us would rather avoid. But again, those of us who have seen Jaws are a little hesitant to even get near the water, let alone a shark. So I guess to sum up, we're just straight up wrong about sharks, right? They're really not as bad as we've come to assume. And they'd never hurt humans willingly. Okay, maybe that last part isn't true, but sharks are definitely not the Terminator-like murderers that we think they are. Not yet, anyway. There's still time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Condor there is a reason the condor is as feared as it is. It's huge and it's formidable. With a wingspan of over 10 feet and weighing up to 33 pounds, this is a straight up terrifying animal to experience close up. Except, you know, when it's weirdly kinda cute. Many years ago, an Argentinian farmer named Eduardo happened to find a baby condor with a broken leg in his backyard. The condor hatchling had apparently fallen out of its nest and and suffered an excruciating injury that it probably wouldn't have survived. Had it not been for Eduardo, of course. Being a good Samaritan, he nursed the bird back to health, and the condor hasn't forgotten that kindness, regularly returning to see Eduardo, and occasionally giving him a big hug as a way to say thank you. Now that is friendship. I think. Some of you will probably be thinking that doesn't mean the animal is friendly. He just likes the guy. Yeah, that's true, but it also shows that they can get along with humans if we treat them nicely. There's the real lesson in all of this, right? Just look after the baby birds and the adult ones will become your birdie guards? Thank you. Thank you very much. Number 13. Naked Mole Rats I often feel that I should apologize in advance whenever we have to cover naked mole rats. There's something kind of weird about the whole thing, but today we're looking at it with fondness because they're actually kind of cute. Even though they have the appearance of a weird alien type creature, they're actually no different than any other species of rodent. In fact, they're more social than any other. Because they live in colonies of 20 to 300 individuals, they're comfortable hanging around pretty much anybody of any species, of any age. It's kind of a weird thought, but maybe the naked mole rat is closer to humans than we think. The only difference is that they're basically babysitters for the queen mole rat's young. Actually, if you happen to live in a country with a monarchy, that's probably pretty accurate. Naked mole rats may not 
not be the most beautiful animals to look at, but they're surprisingly sweet, and you can bet that they'll happily come up to see you a little closer. Although whether you'll be happy to see that unique little face right up close is, uh, you know, it's, it's very much your call. Number 12. Tarantulas all right, this one's going to be controversial. Obviously, people with a severe fear of spiders will insist that tarantulas are absolutely not friendly. After all, these animals can be venomous and even potentially kill you, so it's understandable, I guess. But according to tarantula owners, you are wrong. Fans of the tarantula have long been fighting to protect the reputation of these animals, claiming that they've been vilified for no good reason. According to the people who spend their lives taking care of them, tarantulas are quiet, sweet, and non-aggressive. But I'll be honest, I don't think that's going to win over the arachnophobes. Obviously, the tarantulas made available for pet owners will be the ones that aren't extremely and fatally venomous, which aren't extremely and fatally venomous, which may color their opinion a little bit, but you can't deny that seemingly across the board, spider owners are campaigning to protect their beloved little things from a misconception. But is that misconception really wrong? Well, that's for you to decide, but it seems like tarantula owners are incredibly happy with their beloved pet, and it looks like the spider feels the same way. Which is a love story in its own right, I guess. Anybody else suddenly go super itchy just now? Number 11. Giant African Millipedes Look, I know. I know, it sounds weird when I just drop it like that, but you have to believe me. Some people really do have giant African millipedes as their pets. I don't know what else to tell you, man. You're just gonna have to see it for yourself, I guess. Most people are just familiar with the typical garden variety millipedes you'll find in your home. But the giant African millipede is not just another insect. All over the world, this animal is treated as a full-blown pet. Yeah, seriously. As an exotic pet, there are obviously many restrictions and instructions that must be followed if the animal is to survive longer than four hours. But according to the people who have adopted this animal as their own, the giant African millipede is one of the greatest pets you could ever hope to own. Seriously. Owners to described the pet as docile, generally friendly, and a joy. Which again is a very strange thing to say about a millipede, but it's alright, we'll just smile and nod guys, they have a lot of legs. If we say anything bad about them and run, they can catch up very, very quickly. Number 10. Blue Tongued Skinks for some reason or another, people tend to assume that reptiles are not friendly, or at least that they hate humans, but that's not actually true, especially in the case of the blue-tongued skink, a reptile that seems to thrive on human interaction. So I guess we're proving that one wrong today. Generally speaking, lizards are known for their surprisingly sweet dispositions, but the blue-tongued skink is especially sweet. It's about as close to a dog as you can find in a lizard. Huh, that's a weird sentence. Of all the lizards on Earth, the blue-tongued skink seems to truly thrive on interacting with humans. In particular, they really seem to like having their head scratched, not unlike a dog. So I guess it's official, lizards are the new dogs. I'm kidding. Obviously, nothing will ever replace the dog as our best friend. According to one expert, the blue-tongued skink seems to thrive on getting attention from humans. Much like a dog or a talented voiceover artist, they're very happy when they're shown affection. Hint, hint, comment section. The takeaway from this topic is that lizards are not the cold, cold creatures that many people seem to think they are. They're actually dogs with scaly skin. I'm not sure I like the thought of that. Number 9. Golden Eagle are we actually about to suggest that one of North America's most legendary and most dangerous predators is actually misunderstood? Yes, 
What are you going to do about it? Tweet? Get it? Get it? It's, it's a joke? It's a bird joke? I have a bunch of them, guys. Buckle up. The important distinction here is that the wild golden eagle is unquestionably one of the most intimidating predators in the world. These animals can attack large mammals and even fight off bears to defend their prey. So they're not creatures to be dismissing. However, they're also some of the most impressive domesticated animals in the world. With their remarkable hunting skills and sharp eyesight, these animals have become a surprisingly good sidekick for hunters everywhere. After all, these animals are able to spot a mouse or squirrel over 1,600 to 3,200 feet up in the air. Now you have to admit, that is an impressive talent, right? The training of the Golden Eagle is a tradition dating all the way back to the 8th century. So it's probably not surprising that humans have become so good at training them. And let's be honest, it's better to teach them to work with us than to end up running from those sharp talents. Although that would be a great motivator to get into shape, wouldn't it? Number 8. Hi, hi. There aren't many animals out there that look as frightening as the I.I., a long-fingered lemur native to Madagascar. I mean, it would be easy to mistake it for some kind of gremlins-type creature, but it's not as scary as it may appear. Believe me, this is the world's largest nocturnal primate, but it's actually not as dangerous as it may appear. Although it certainly has something of a reputation, locals in Madagascar call it the Harbinger of Death, which isn't exactly the title for a friendly animal, right? But this reputation isn't totally accurate. In fact, this unverified superstition usually results in them being killed purely out of paranoia more than anything else. In reality, these animals are peaceful, nocturnal animals who have no interest in bringing death upon locals. If anything, they just want to eat insects and grubs and be left alone, and I think we can all relate to that. Well, maybe not the grubs or insects. She's waking up now. The I.I. may look like the kind of animal that you want to run from, but they're actually very peaceful and sweet creatures. So I guess the lesson here is that if an animal is named the Harbinger of Death, it probably just wants a hug instead. Number 7. Manta Ray as the largest species of ray in the world, it's easy to assume that the manta ray would be a pretty intimidating opponent. But no, these incredible animals are actually harmless, much more so than other species of ray. The manta ray does not have a stinger, making it pretty much harmless to divers and other humans who may be venturing into ray-filled waters. And in the unlikely event that you're still unconvinced, they don't even bite humans. Actually, manta rays tend to prefer tiny plankton, which which they will scour the oceans and suck up in a matter of seconds. So unless your legs and feet or ankles are made up of hundreds of thousands of plankton, you're probably going to be able to walk away with your lower body totally intact. And that is a good result. If, however, you do suffer from plankton leg, I got some news for you, buddy, and it ain't good. Despite its somewhat scary-sounding name, the manta ray is totally harmless to humans, so all you divers watching this can rest assured your precious legs are safe around this animal. Again, that's assuming you haven't decided to strap plankton to your leg. Number 6. Milk Snake Many people are terrified to have any kind of snake in their house, believing that it's just going to end in someone getting eaten. But some snakes are actually incredibly friendly, and yes, totally harmless. The milk snake is definitely one of them. The milk snake is widely considered to be one of the best snakes to own as a pet, thanks to its notoriously shy personality. Sure, they're big and they're vibrant in color, but they're basically harmless. These snakes are not quite as anxious or nervous as some other varieties, but are incredibly laid back and relaxed in pretty much every situation. In fact, many owners claim that they rarely even see their brand new pet, since the animal likes to hide from the spotlight. And by hide, I mean sit in a corner and wait until the people have gone, which I think is pretty relatable, don't you? The milk snake is a great pick for somebody who is not terrified of snakes, but also isn't a fan. 
It's big enough that you know it's a snake, but it's harmless and low maintenance enough that you know it's not going to try and break out to eat you in the night. So you get the best of all worlds. Number 5. Vulture I'm fully expecting some confused and slash or angry reactions in the comments to this one, but you just have to stick with me. Vultures are not the vultures that we make them out to be. They're, uh, friendly. Assuming, you know, that you're alive. In our modern world, vultures are known for two things. Their terrifying appearance and their habit of only showing up when there's a corpse lying around. But while humanity has concluded that they're just fundamentally scary, they're actually not all that scary. In fact, the vulture is totally harmless to living things, despite the immense power that they hold in their body. The vulture never actually kills its prey. It just waits for somebody else to do the dirty work and then swoops in to reap the benefits. So nobody is actually at risk of being attacked by a vulture when you think about it. Well, maybe the sick and weak are at a little bit of risk, but the rest of us? Totally fine. The vulture's reputation is based on nothing more than its appearance and its dining habits, but it's actually not that terrifying an animal. Sure, they're not the kind of creatures you'd want to own as pets, but it could be worse. They could be swans. Count your blessings, you know. Number 4. Goliath Bird Eater I would like to apologize in advance to any and all arachnophobes who may be watching this because we're venturing back to the terrifying Spider-Verse. The Goliath Bird Eater is the second largest spider species in the world. Still, its appearance is much scarier than the animal itself, even though their appearance makes them look like one of the most formidable and honestly terrifying animals on the planet. That's not the case, at least not the humans. This spider is totally harmless. The worst thing that it could do is give you a minor skin irritation, which most people get from cheap perfumes anyway. Of course, this spider does have venom, it's just not lethal to humans whatsoever. So you can rest assured that even if you got bit, you would be able to just shake the little guy off and continue on with your life, maybe even with superpowers. Still, whether you get superpowers or not, at least you know that the Goliath Bird Eater will not kill you. If if you have an allergic reaction to certain off-brand cheap perfumes, however, you might want to think twice before you get one of these, because, uh, maybe they're born with it. Number 3. Moray Eel When you think of the words warm and loving, which animal do you think of? Dogs? Cats? Rabbits? Sure. But what about an eel? Oh, you didn't even think about that? Well, what does that say about you, huh? It says that your brain is uh, logical. Logical, but incorrect. Because apparently moray eels are capable of affection in a way that none of us would think possible. When Australian diver and ocean conservationist Valerie Taylor tried to befriend one of these eels, she made a surprising discovery. After several years of effort, Taylor was unable to convince the eel to spend time with her. But then, seemingly out of the blue, the eel came out and slithered around her, even allowing Taylor to pet him. According to her, the eel liked being held and scratched, and even today the eel is not afraid to go out of its way just to approach her. So it turns out that the key to befriending a moray eel was just to… well, befriend a moray eel. I guess sometimes it is that simple, huh? Obviously, a moray eel does not seem like the most loving or affectionate creature, given that it's slimy and weird. Turns out this is man's next best friend. Actually, I hope not. Number 2. Ball Python We've already talked about quite a few snakes, but the ball python may be one of the more frightening. These snakes can live for up to 30 years if given the proper care. Obviously, a very intimidating lifetime for potential owners, but they're actually okay. There's a common misconception that this snake is somehow more anxious or uneasy than other species. That's probably because the name, the ball python, it refers to the animal's unique habit of curling itself into a tight ball when threatened. But actually, the animal itself is pretty easygoing. 
Owners that have adopted a ball python describe the animal as low maintenance, easy to take care of, and gentle. The most difficult thing about them, according to their owners, is that they like to try and escape a lot. But when you really stop to think about it, don't we all? The ball python is not the terrifying, unhinged, and neurotic animal that people seem to think it is. Actually, it's kind of the opposite. It's a gentle, caring animal that just wants to hang out and have a good time. It's basically a best friend, just more scaly and prone to an escape attempt every few minutes. Number 1. Polar Bear Polar bears are internationally known for many things. Their coat, their position as an ambassador for Coca-Cola brand, and their notorious reputation for being the world's deadliest bear. But apparently, that last one, it might not be true in the right circumstances. Mark Dumas, a polar bear handler in British Columbia, has the dubious honor of being the only man in the world to have one of these bears as a pet. I know. And not only does he keep the bear as a pet, he plays around with the bear like it's just another human. Whether that's rolling around and play fighting or just going for a swim in ice cold water, Dumas seems absolutely fearless or clueless depending on your perspective. I mean, let's be honest, it's very much open to interpretation here, but what isn't open to interpretation is the fact that they clearly have developed the bond strong enough that the bear isn't even considering biting his head off. That's progress. Of course, it takes an expert and a very specific set of circumstances to get a polar bear to be this friendly towards a human. If you happen to see one in the wild, I would not recommend that you try to give it a hug. Just a hunch I have that it won't end well. Which terrifying animal do you think has got an unfairly bad rap? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.